In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enter accrued expenses in QuickBooks Online. This process is a vital part of managing your finances effectively, and I'm here to guide you through it step by step, ensuring that you can perform this task accurately and efficiently. To get started, the first thing you need to do is head over to the QuickBooks Online website. Locate the sign in button and give it a click. It's usually found in the upper right hand corner of the home page. Once you've clicked that, you'll need to choose your platform, which in this case is QuickBooks Online. Select it from the list and this will take you to the login page. Now you'll need to enter your credentials. This is your email and password associated with your QuickBooks account. Make sure you type these in accurately and then click the continue button. Accuracy here is key to gaining access without any holdups. Once you're logged into your account, turn your attention to the upper left part of the screen where you'll see a button labelled New. Click on this and a drop down menu will appear. From this menu you'll want to select Journal Entry. This function allows you to input detailed accounting information essential for accurately tracking accrued expenses. In the Journal Entry form that appears you'll see fields where you need to fill in specific information. Under the Account column type in Payroll Expense. This ensures that your expenses are correctly categorised under Payroll. Next, input the credit amount that correlates with these payroll expenses. Ensure this amount is accurate as it reflects the financial details important for your accounting records. In the description box, type payroll for month of October being accrued for. This description will help you and others understand the purpose of this entry when reviewing your financial records later. Under the name section, input the customer's name related to this transaction. This links the expense to the right individual or company for transparency and record keeping. Next, head down to the second line under Account and input Accrued Expenses. This step is crucial because it differentiates between expenses already paid and those still outstanding. Then, enter the debit amount that reflects the total of your accrued expenses. It is vital that your debit matches the credit as this balances your journal entry, ensuring your accounts remain accurate. To maintain consistency and clarity, copy the description you entered earlier and paste it down onto the new line. Follow that by adding the customer's name again under the name section, keeping details synchronized throughout your records. Finally, you are ready to save this entry. Locate and click on save and new to ensure that all the information is securely stored in your QuickBooks account. This action will also allow you to begin a new entry if needed. And there you have it, by following these steps you've effectively entered your accrued expenses into QuickBooks Online. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. With these details you'll be able to keep your financial records precise and up to date. Thank you for watching and see you next time.